Hello and welcome back to my channel. This week I am doing the final part of my three-part Let's Make Rapunzel series and this week we are making the undershirt. So without any further ado, let's get started! <laughs> For this project I'm using a metre of this purpley pink cotton, half a metre of this peachy stretch mesh, a few metres of scallop lace in white and pink, 10 metres of a peach satin ribbon, and 10 pinky purpley buttons. I'm starting this project off by making the sleeves and for that I'm using McCaw's M8108. First things first, I cut the puff part of the sleeve out of the cotton fabric. Next I add the stripes. I do this by laying out lengths of the satin ribbon evenly across the sleeve. Then I sew them in place sewing as closely to the edge as possible. So before I make the sleeves out of the netting here, I'm going to attempt to embroider this design along the top and bottom edges of it. There's my embroidery floss. I hope this works. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. But then again, when do I ever know what I'm doing? First I trace the design onto the mesh using an air erasable pen. I then place it in a hoop and begin embroidering. Do you ever get this far into doing something and then think to yourself, man, this looks like absolute ass? and then decide you're not going to do it that way anymore. I mean, this is almost an hour's worth of work and I hate it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the embroidery. I think I might machine stitch it on. I don't know, this just looks terrible. It's all lumpy and gross. So I just did this with an alcohol marker and I think I hate this as well. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Machine embroidery didn't work because my fabric's too stretchy and I don't actually have an embroidery machine. I thought I'd be able to do it using the free motion darning setup. It's just not working. I don't know what to do. Okay, so I tried drawing on here again with some different colored pens and I mean, you can see how vastly different the colors are compared to what's actually in there. I think I'm gonna give drawing it another go and I'm gonna go with this one here, which is a nice light purple color. And I think I can make it look a lot nicer than what I did just here, so. Fingers crossed that works because otherwise I have no idea what I'm going to be doing for the design on here. After finishing drawing on the designs on both sleeves, I then cut them into this trapezoid shape. Next I sew the lace ribbon along the bottom edge of the sleeve. Once the lace is attached, I fold the sleeve in half and then just run it straight through my overlocker. Well, that worked a lot better than anticipated. With the bottom half of the sleeve done, it's time to go back to tackling the puffy part. So I ran some gathering stitches along the top and bottom edge and then I sewed the sleeve together. I then pressed the seam flat and open and then I gathered the bottom edge of the sleeve by pulling those gathering stitches nice and taut. And then I sewed the bottom half of the sleeve to the puff. Then I did some understitching along the bottom edge of the puff so that you wouldn't see the seam line through the mesh on the other side. Now that the sleeves are finished, it's on to making the bodice portion of the shirt. Originally, I tried altering a pre-existing pattern, but very quickly realized that wouldn't work. So using my vintage drafting book, I actually drafted a pattern from scratch. And here is my paper mock-up of it, all taped together, and you can barely make out what it is. <laughs> However, it looked as though it was gonna work, so I threw it straight onto that same cotton that we used for the puffy part of the sleeve and cut it out. I then drew in the markings that I'd made for the darts and then sewed them in place. 
Then I attach the front and back pieces together. So here is the undershirt. I've just put the corset on top of it and pinned on the sleeve. Perfect in the back here. Absolutely love the length of everything. And here is the front. So I'm going to have to bring in the shoulder strap here because at the moment it's far too wide. And I'm not sure how this is sitting. I'll have to try it in person because I know the corset doesn't quite fit my mannequin properly. And as you can see at the moment, it's sitting a bit too high here and in here. But I think if it's sitting on me, it'll fit it perfectly. All right, so I've just tried it on. And first of all, can we just talk about how perfect the fit is of the self-drafted undershirt? Like, why aren't I making all of my costumes using this method? It is so good. Anyway, um, as you can see, I have drawn some lines on this side and that is where I need to make the adjustments. So currently, yes, it is sitting too high up here, which means, can you see it? I hope you can. It's sitting too high here. So I just need to trim this bit back, drop that bit down, and then we're good to go. So I'm going to do that. And next you'll see me attaching the lace and probably the sleeves to this. Yay. This is me trying on the undershirt after having made those adjustments and as you can see it is now sitting correctly in the bottom here and along the top edge. Well done! The next step is attaching lace along the bottom and top edges. So I'm pinning this pink one along the bottom edge here and sewing it in place. Then I ran it through my overlocker trimming it back to the lace edge there in the process and then I folded it over and sewed it in place. And this is how it looks like from the front. With the lace attached to the bottom and top edge, all that's left to do is attach the sleeves and put buttons in the back. So I just finished the top, it's all done. I'm just about to do my makeup, which I'm going to use this Rapunzel palette for. I'm very excited about that. I thought it was very on point for today. Next time you see me, full costume. And there you have it. That is how I made my Rapunzel costume from the film Tangled. I am so, so, so happy with how this has turned out and I cannot wait to wear it to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party in September when I go. It's going to be so much fun. There's honestly not much I would have changed about it. I'm just really happy with this costume for once. I think my favorite part is definitely the pockets. So I'm gonna fill them up with lollies and stuff. It's gonna be great. <laughs> This is not the final wig, this is just the wig I put on today so that I could take some photos and show you guys how it looks. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do the long blonde hair, the short brown hair, or go all out and do the braided wig. I want to do the braided wig with the flowers, but that'll take up a lot of suitcase space and time and yeah, you know, you know how it is. Let me know what you think down below, which wig should I go for? You might sway me. Honestly, the brown one would probably be really easy and it wouldn't be so hot either. Obviously, the embroidery along the skirt still isn't done because I am also still undecided about that. I think I am going to hand embroider it and just work on it, you know, in the evenings when I have spare time and I'll show you guys what it looks like further on down the line. One bummer thing about it is, though, is that when I was putting it on just now, I went to pull the top up here, but I pulled it by the lace and as you can see, I, I ripped it. So I'm going to have to repair that before I wear it next as well. But other than that, very, very, 
very happy with it. <laughs> Thank you guys so so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the series. I know I had a lot of fun making this. If you liked what you saw, consider subscribing maybe. It's always a good time here. We do a lot of sewing, crafting and fun related stuff and I usually try and upload videos on a Friday, though recently it has been more towards the weekend. Anyway, once again guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye! Come get a close up of this um, amazing mud AMSR. It's ASMR. Oh my god, look at that. Who cares? <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think we're through it. It's okay. We survived.